Bob in Connecticut says, one of my first steps into this hobby was audio magazine in the 1980s. Me too. In fact, that you bring this up, our very first ad, which was earlier in the 1980s, I hate to, I hate to say more like 74, 75, 76, so, somewhere around there. I mean, we're, we're coming up here on, this is, right now it's 2024, and this is our 50th year. We're going to figure out a nice big 50th year celebration bash somehow. I don't know. We're figuring out how this is going to work. And so we've been, well, 50 years. But during the early 70s, 74, I think is when we started, 75, the um, ads that we took out, our original little sixth of a page ad, they were all in audio magazine. And of course, audio magazine is no longer running around. That was Gene Pitts and all of that. Anyway, one year, the big IRS, uh, I think it was probably the IRS 3, was opening for reviewer, uh, was the opening for reviewer Tony Cordesman's rest his soul, short list of the best speakers available. Yeah, no kidding. He used the album Jazz at the Pawn Shop for testing. It was, a hard, to come, it was hard to come by when I tried to find it, and then as, uh, then as a CD. When I finally heard it by streaming a few years ago, it seemed greatly recorded. Not a test of faults, but as a test of virtues. Of course, I don't remember the Cordesman Review in detail. Do you know the recording, and what do you think of it? I would say, well, yes, I know the recording. <laughs> this was uh, the Jazz at the Pawn Shop was by a guy named uh, Bert, or Gert, I think it was Gert, Gert Palmkritz. Uh, it was in 1976, two years after we started PS Audio. So it's coming up on 48 years old, and it is probably the definitive classic for audiophiles. It was, I think it was Swedish. And it was certainly a Scandinavian jazz club. And uh, Gert, I think if I remember right, he had just a stereo microphone, two microphones set up in a stereo configuration, set him up on the stage. Of course, at the time, he, everything was on analog tape. And he made one of the most wonderful recordings ever. If you get a copy, uh, the CD of it, I'm sure it's probably in its 25th pressing, but if you can get a CD of it, there's even vinyl cuts. Absolutely grab hold of it. The music's great, and there's a huge amount of dynamic range, and, and Gert clearly knew what he was doing as a recording engineer. It was, and is, amazing. So yeah, if you get a chance, Jazz at the Pawn Shop, it is the definitive classic in, in our industry. All right. Uh, drop me a note. Let me know what you think. Okay. Thanks. Bye.